hey babes i am back with a new tutorial so this tutorial i'm going to be showing you how to do a middle part quick weave and i'm going to be using some of my raw indian tight curly hair to achieve this super cute look so stay tuned so my leave out is in the shape of a triangle that way i can have minimum leave out and now i'm just going to be braiding my hair down i'm doing five plaits so now i'm just going to be braiding down the back and as you braid down, you want to go ahead and connect each braid that is already braided to that braid. Now going in with my got to be, y'all know how I like to do. I'm about to create my first layer, which is going to be my barrier to avoid any glue actually seeping to my hair. I'm using my Rust Speed Freak blow dryer. It is my baby, but I actually need to get a new one. As y'all can see, the back was a little lit. But now I'm just going to be combing kind of like my edges and I'm going to be just combing that back and blow drying it. We want to get everything slicked down nice and hard and then we're just going to blow dry and then we're going to do that two more times. So I got these caps from Walmart and they're honestly the best. So if y'all have these at y'all Walmart, get these caps. So I'm just going to be putting on my first stocking cap and then we're going to go in with the got to be spray. And now we're going to be going in with our second layer. And you literally want to go ahead and soak that cap up everywhere where your leave out is not. Okay, go ahead and just spray, spray, spray. And then you're going to blow dry and you'll know when it's nice and hard because for one, you'll feel it and it's going to turn white. And now we're going to be going in with our second cap and now we're going to be creating our third layer to help protect your hair from any glue. I promise you this method works. I do this all the time on myself as well as my clients. Okay, so just follow this and I promise you, you are good to go. So now I'm just using my shears, we're going to be cutting off that second cap that we just put on. This second cap is going to be a good protective barrier as well as a guide on where to actually lay our tracks, especially once we get to the top. So I'm just showing you that my tracks were doubled. Sometimes I doubled, sometimes I just singled my webs, depending on the type of hair that you have. If it's still really close together, I say to keep it together because it definitely saves you time. And I'm just going to be using my 30 second super hair glue. And now I'm just going to be applying my tracks curving into like a C shape and I'm going to go a little past my ear and make sure that you are not gluing your tracks on your edges. Okay, that is not what we are doing. We're just getting really close to it, but we are not putting glue on our edges. So when I cut this cap off, my edges are still going to be visible when I move the hair but you won't ever see it. So this is great for somebody who has like fine edges or honestly may not even have any edges anymore. And they wanna, you know, be able to wear a look like this. So I would say this is definitely your go-to. Be sure to blow dry your tracks in between periodically. And if you're gonna be detangling, make sure you hold the wefts in place and then slightly detangle with your fingers. So now as we get into the top, you want to really start to pretty much kind of start face framing. So when you're applying your track, you want to start applying the track curving still, but start to start closing in that leave out. So you want to bring it really close to your leave out and then to the other side as well. And then just really press and make sure that it is really bonded on there and then you're going to blow dry. So 
we're just gonna finish curving and eventually you're not gonna be able to curve anymore. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just start tackling kind of like one side only or you can do one side halfway and then go to the other side that way you make sure that your tracks are placed evenly and then as you get to the top you'll start to just pretty much just follow exactly how your leave out is parted it's really important that you blow dry with curly hair in between because of course your hair is going to get bigger and bigger and once you're done with the install you're going to want to of course define your curls and you're going to need to spray it and detangle it so make sure that your tracks are nice and dried Using my hair tie, I'm going to go ahead and put all of my hair together, use my clip to move it out the way, and we're going to go ahead and cut off that excess cap. After, I'll be able to show you exactly what I do to define my curls and be able to give you that nice, defined, curly, juicy look, and also blending your leave out with no heat needed. So remember I told y'all that y'all be able to see my edges once I took off the excess cap? So there should be no tracks on y'all edges, okay? So make sure that when you are gluing your tracks that you are not so close to your edges. It's not needed. For one, you'll sweat it out and you can break your hair off. And that's not what we're trying to do. We are going to spray down the hair. So if your goal is to wear it really, really, really big, I would say to really just focus on wetting your ends just so that you can have it defined in that area. But if you're going for a really curled, defined look and you know, a little calmer, do what I'm doing. So you want to get it soaked. Get in between. Make sure you get those ends. So really make sure that you get those ends wet. Now going in with your obviously a paddle brush. Start at the ends, you can hold it. I'm gonna go in with the Mio curl cream. Really make sure that you get those ends and that you are combing this product through so that you don't have any residue. You can also use foam and then a product. I'm going to use a generous amount just to make sure that when it dries up, I don't look like Mufasa. You see that difference? If it's dripping, that's good. I that mean that you're getting it nice and juicy. 
If it does it too much, just get a towel and just slightly dab at it, but keep it crunched up though. Now how I like to do my leave out, I'm just gonna be parting it down the middle and then I'm gonna comb the sides to get it blended and then I'll go in with my spray bottle to slightly, just lightly spray it. Don't spray your actual new growth like at the top because you want your product to really hold that part. So I'm just kind of finger comb it and then I'm gonna use a little bit of the Miel on pretty much the shaft. If you're a hairstylist, you know what I meant, but pretty much the majority of your hair, just not the root. Now I'm going to be going in hitting my roots with my edge control. So that's how I like to blend my leave out with my curly hair because it gives you that slick but natural look where you don't know where it's starting or ending and it lasts a lot longer. Of course there's no heat that's needed. I wouldn't say to use gel because with gel for me honestly it'll curl my hair up too much and you want your middle part to still be like laid you know you want to give off that closure or that frontal look without actually having to use it now we're going to be doing some face framing when you face frame a curly hair it makes it pop even more so i'm just going to be starting a little past my jaw and then we're going to be just cutting downward and then you wanna make sure that both sides are even, that way one side isn't longer than the other.